Good morning. Did you sleep well? It stayed pretty cool in here. All right, so John's hanging with Daniel for a few minutes. He came over and swam. Oh, my face is weird because I was just rubbing sunscreen. Um, I'm at the pool and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into the water and do my aquatic exercises because I am very, very determined that I can get my exercise in one way, shape, or form, even on a day when the heat index is like 110. So I'm at the pool, I'm gonna go right in and get it done. He told me the water's 80 something degrees though. It's like not even cold, not even refreshing, like just water that's warm. I won't be here long. Here we go. Alrighty, I had an awesome swim. Air is like 90 something, 92 I think? I don't know. My car says 90. Not anymore. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go home, get dressed, and we're gonna take Dale to see Toy Story 4. Just to get out of the heat for a while and, you know, sit and enjoy. The acorn doesn't need all kinds of day planners and productivity strategies to become an oak tree. It's implicit in the pattern of the acorn and the life force that produced it. We can really start to look at it. This is why I brought this up at the beginning of the call. If we can start to look at and just acknowledge, my problem is not that I don't have enough time. My problem is that I've invested my time and therefore built structures around things that aren't my truth. That I'm putting way too much time in relationships that aren't fundamental to my destiny. Headed to the movies. Okay. What are we going to see? Toy Story. Okay. Four. Toy Story Four. Yeah. Just finished watching Toy Story 4. It was really good. Yeah, it was good. I'm a little emotional. Oh, it's so hot. It's anyway, super hot out here. It was super cold in there. Nice. Yeah. Okie dokie. All right, Dale, that was fun and refreshing. Now we're all like losing our nice chill that we had on our bodies. Yeah, all right. Super hot. Don't worry, Dan. We're going home now. Can we get the door? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? She's right here with her daddy. You're just full of love tonight. That's because I gave you steak. She's going to the groomer on Tuesday. She has a spa day. Huh, Holly? Yeah, a I little prima donna. I love you. I love you too, handsome man. You. you know, you were my first doggy. You are the first doggy I ever had. I still remember when Thomas brought you home. I think Thomas was the first one to hold you. Oh, yes. Yeah. I love Thomas. Loves Thomas. Thomas gives him support when there's fireworks. Yeah, she, she was, uh, I was in Daniel's room while well, you were at the pool, such so beautiful Holly time. was laying on my left and Henry was between my feet and Thomas walked into the room 
and the tail went like this. You know, tail, her tail started wagging. And then as he got closer, the tail started wagging even more. I said, Thomas, you, don't you see how much she loves you? <laughs> so he came over. They're both it. rubbing their faces. No, I don't want to be videoed. <laughs> I know. I don't want to be in the video. You're both doing it. Hi, honeys. Night-night.